Right, so I got myself a project car here. It's uh, sort of the first project car I've worked on. <clears throat> Been a mechanic for just under seven years, I think, here with BJR. Um, but never really had my own old school project car. I've always wanted one and I've always been a huge fan of Audis. So kind of comes from what my dad's, uh, my dad's used to race and the background that we've had. He used to do Audi drive days in Australia as well. So always been a part of that. Um, so managed to find a 1974 Audi 100 GL. So it's uh, something I've, I've been looking for for about a year now. Um, they're pretty rare in Australia. They, they made a fair few of them in the UK, but uh, yeah, like I said, not many in Australia, so the old right-hand drive. It's a nice little rig. So it's got 65,000 Ks on it. Interior is really nice, actually. It's not too bad. It's got a bit of work to be done, but uh, yeah, it's really cool. I really love it. So I've um, got some good ideas with it, but not sure if it's got 165,000 or just 65,000 Ks on it. It's a bit hard to tell if it's ticked over, but uh, it was parked in a shed in 1986 and hasn't really been uh, been touched since then. So it was a, a sort of an older lady bought it from new and then uh, had it in a shed. Yeah, so it hasn't been started, so it's got a bit of work to do. Oil does not get as black as that. Anyway, so it's pretty, pretty basic engine. 1.9 liter, I think about 112 horsepower. It ain't gonna break any lap records, but um, yeah, that's not really the idea of it. And that is not the color of coolant, I believe. Probably a good thing we took that out. So just got the fuel tank out here. Um, I'll show you what it looks like. Old school there. So it was pretty much held in by tech screws through all through there. It's uh, pretty easy and then it just came out of the, the, end, the end cap there which was just held in by pretty much a rubber mount. So it's pretty, pretty basic actually. Um, no fuel in it, which was nice, uh, but it's definitely had fuel in it that's dried up. So it's gonna take a bit to clean that out and wash it out, make sure it uh, isn't going to contaminate the fuel or, or have just heaps of rust inside it. So I'll uh, clean that out next and then uh, go from there. Okay, so seeing as the water looked like that, I thought I'd better take off all the lines, probably check the pump. Probably a good thing I did. Um, not so sure it's meant to look like that. Hmm. Yeah. I think that was once coolant, but not anymore, that's for sure. So we'll uh, rebuild that line then. Just got the radiator painted. Got a, a fresh coat of black paint on it. Looks pretty good. So I'm gonna chuck that in today. Get it all happening. It's a bit of a side mounted radiator, which was different, but uh, yeah, it's cool. Got some radiator hoses, some fresh ones, cause the other one was a bit bit how you going, so it's a fair bit of crap inside, so make sure that uh, runs all smoothly. So I thought maybe I'd give a bit of an idea of some of the things that I uh, am aiming to do with the Audi 100. Um, so I'm probably going to keep it fairly stock. Um, engine wise will definitely be stock um, with 112 horsepower, I'll leave it at that for a bit anyway. Um, I've seen some people put like an old Porsche engine into them, so that could be something cool a lot further down the line. Um, I'm gonna just clean it all out, maybe get some of the re interior redone, like do the carpet and stuff, it's pretty old, so I'll have to, definitely have to do that. Um, also, we'll look at painting it in the future. I'm probably gonna get the engine running first, um, make sure that's all good, um, and then get airbags for it, and then paint it. So the airbags will um, definitely lower it a fair bit. They look really cool once they're on airbags, so I'm pretty pumped to be able to do that. Um, and then yeah, paint it. I'm not too sure what colour, that's my problem there. It's, I'm not sure whether to go like an original kind of thing, what it is. It's like a off-white, go white or black. But I'm probably looking more towards white at this point. I think it'll look really cool. So um, I think it's going to be difficult to find all of the, the window trims and, um, and door trims and stuff like that. So I think I need to hes just hesitate a little bit on that so I can 
source some of the parts before uh, stripping the thing right down. So I think it'll look really cool once it's done. It's going to be a bit of a long project, but um, yeah, it'll be good fun.